Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and thanks so much for joining me. I definitely appreciate it. All right, guys, we have two brand new limited edition watches from Aviate. Now, they're only going to make a thousand of each example, so these are definitely limited edition watches. And we have the Founders Mecha Quartz Chronograph over here on the left, and we have the Chairman's Three Hand Mecha Quartz over here on the right. And the model numbers are AV4092 01 and AV. Dash four zero nine six dash zero two, and I think they're great looking watches. I think Aviate has really stepped up their game so far as their dials go, uh, and these are really, really affordable. Man, I was actually kind of shocked, and I have the first examples of each watch, so I have the first of a thousand of each of these, and they're actually what is it zero 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 zero? There you go for that one, and. Zero, 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 zero for the uh, 4096. So pretty cool, man. So guys, let's check these things out. I think you're going to like them. Let's get into it. All right, guys, you know the deal. We'll go ahead and check these things out here in just a minute, but make sure you check out my Amazon shopping channel if you like any of the other watches I've reviewed on my channel. Christmas time is coming up, so you might want to start thinking about buying your presents. And as you know, I do get a very small commission if you buy from my Amazon store, so I definitely appreciate it. So this is the new AV8 packaging. Uh, it comes in, uh, well, this particular packaging is just for these commemorative watches, uh, but the new boxes are really, really sturdy. I swear they've got some sort of like plywood or something underneath here because these watch boxes are incredibly strong and tough. But these particular watches come in this kind of pale blue uh, outer uh, sleeve here. You get some literature <clears throat> about the uh, Royal British Legion, them thanking you for buying these watches. I think a certain percentage of the sales of each one of these uh, goes to that charity. Of course, the red poppy, that's to commemorate anybody that died in World War I. So whenever you see that, uh, you're going to see it on a lot of British celebrities and stuff like that. That's to commemorate anybody that died in World War I. So anyway, so there's that. And then let me show you this first watch. There you go. Good looking watch. I mean, I'm not really a chronograph person myself, but I definitely like this. I love the colorway, uh, the simplicity. It's really nice, man. And you take this foam off, they also give you a little pen, a really nice resin molded poppy pen. Pretty cool, man. And, but wait, there's more. Here's your literature. That's your instruction manual. These watches are very easy. There's your Royal British Legion card, basically again saying, hey, thank you, yada, 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 yada. And here is the, uh, oh, this is the little um, card that's saying uh, they're only making a thousand of each of these, limited edition. There you go. Oh, here you go. So it looks like 15 pounds from the sale of each watch will be paid to the Royal British Legion Trading Company. I'm sorry, it'll be paid to the Royal British Legion Trading Limited, uh, yada, yada, yada. And they give you a little um, little scanner thing you can scan, a little barcode you can scan there. So 15 bucks, so 15 pounds is, I don't know, like, I don't know, $18, something like that. So if you wanna help a good cause, there you go. And here's the first watch, go ahead and take it out. All right, there you go. There's your first look at it. And of course, I'll tell you all the specs here on each watch in just a second. Nice, I really like that, that dial. I like those cathedral hands too. Pretty cool. All right, let's also check out this little poppy pin that you get. I wanna take, take a look at this thing. Let me see. Yeah, so it's like a little, uh, it's a little lapel pin. There you go. It kind of reminds me of the French um, cloisonne. It's a type of um, uh, manufacturing technique where they fill the stuff in with like glass, but this is obviously just resin. But it looks, it looks like like the inside of an iris or something. It's actually pretty well detailed. Nice man. So there you go. It says 2021 on it at the bottom. And there's your little your little back right there. 
So this is pretty nice, man. Nice little uh, add on there for the watch. All right, let me put this back. There we go. All right. All right, so there is the, what, this is the 4092, right? I believe. I might get some of these model numbers messed up, so please bear with me. They're very close in number. So what is this, the 4092? Yeah, this is the 4092. All right, so there's the 4092. Let's go ahead and get out the uh, 4096. Everything inside is obviously the same. You get the same lapel pin. The two-petal poppy right there. Let's open this one up. You get the same card. Yada, yada, yada. All right. And guys, I think these go on sale on the 22nd, I believe. But right now, you can go over there and sign up for them. I'll give you prices here in just a second as well. All right. And here is, here is the uh, Chairman's three-hand Mecha Quartz. You can see it has a sweeping second hand. Pretty cool. There's the poppy pin. Let's take this one out as well. All right. All right, so let's get all these boxes and stuff out of the way so I can actually do this review. Okay. I'll keep one box out here. There we go. All right, let me go ahead and tell you the specs for both of these. So I got the 4092 on my left and the 4096 on my right. And let me get my notes squared away for you here. All right. All right, so they both have a 40 millimeter stainless steel case. The thickness for the 4092 is 12 millimeters. The thickness for the 4096 is 12.5 millimeters. Lug to lug for the 4092 is 48.5. And for the 4096, it's 48. Uh, they both come on 20 millimeter leather straps. They're both water resistant to 50 meters, which is about 165 feet. Uh, there is a different movement. For the 4092, you get a TMI, which is basically a Seiko. Uh, VK64, look at about three years on the battery life. For the 4096, you also get a TMI, again, a Seiko movement, uh, which is the VH31, and again, about three years on the battery life. Uh, you do get only mineral crystals on both. It's kind of a shame, but whatever. But they also do have a uh, an AR coating on both and a screw down case back on both. They both have an onion crown right there with a the little poppy in there. There you go. Uh, the date, you get the date down there at 6 o'clock on the 4092. There is no date on the uh, 4096. Uh, obviously, they're both hackable. Uh, loom, I couldn't find any loom specs on it. Uh, the bezel for the 4092, actually there is none. Uh, for the 4096, you get 120 click unidirectional bezel. They both weigh about 80 grams a piece. And guys, I think they're actually really good looking watches, man. I think, you know, AV8 in general has really stepped up their game in the last probably year or so. So let's go ahead and take a look at the 4092, which is the chronograph. Uh, I love the cathedral style hands. Um... I like the big onion crown only because it's very easy to grip. Again, you got the little poppy there, the two petal poppy right there in the crown. And you also have the poppy on the back uh, side of the, um, the chronograph hand right there in the middle. And you can see it says Mecha Quartz and it says limited edition somewhere on there. It's kind of hard to see. Actually, it's right down there at the very bottom of the date window in red. Kind of hard to see. Um, but I mean, I like it. It's a good looking watch, a real simple, and it looks like it also has a little protective cover on there. Yeah, it does have the protective cover still. Um, just a simple, you know, chronograph. Very well done, though. And these prices are fantastic. I'll tell you what the prices are here in just a second. Here is the case back. And these are, if I remember correctly, these are serialized. Uh, if I can find it. Yep, here you go. It's right at the very top. Let's see if I can get a better picture for you. There you go. Number 000 of 1000, right where the red line is for the uh, case back sticker. There you go, man. That's really cool that AV8 sent me the very first example of each one of these watches. Good looking watch, man. Let me go ahead and try the, uh, the chronograph feature. So you're looking at a 24 hour hand over here on the right hand side. I think this is a one fifth of an hour over here on the left. There you go. 
And this should reset immediately, if I remember correctly, for these Mecha Quartzes. It does. Now, it doesn't have a running seconds hand, which is kind of a bummer. Uh, I wish it had a running seconds hand. It just doesn't. I mean, that is your, um, the main hand, which you think is your second hand, is actually your chronograph hand. So, and again, over here on the left-hand side, that's, I think, uh, it's just your hour track, I believe. Yeah. You have a really nice cream-colored chapter ring in there. Uh, I love, again, those cathedral hands. Really good look at the cathedral hands. And the indexes themselves are raised. They're, all, they're obviously not applied, but they're, they have a nice three-dimensional look to them. I mean, so far as chronographs go, this is a fantastic looking watch. I like it. I mean, the, you know, a great size, just a tad bit smaller than I normally like, but I can definitely pull off a 40 millimeter. It's just a great watch, man. I mean, you know, these things will last a long time if you take care of them. Got a nice solid Seiko movement inside. They're good looking. Um, you're also, you know, you're helping support a nice cause, which is really cool. Let me try that chronograph feature again here. There you go. You also have split time, so you can... Do right there you can keep it going it's pretty cool man nice little watch all right so there is the chronograph actually let me show you the strap real quick genuine leather strap yada 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 av8 and of course you got a fixed keeper and a movable keeper you got av8 right there on the buckle there you go so there you go all right so there is the chronograph let's check out the uh chairman's mecha quartz there you go. Again, you got the sticker on the dial there. Uh, the middle crystal does have an AR coating, which is nice. Uh, much more, you know, simple watch. Obviously, this is like a Flieger style because you've got the triangle up there at the top. Uh, nice 120-click unidirectional bezel. Has great click action. Super click action to it. Very little, if any, back play. Let's see if I can line this up perfectly. There we go. Nice. Again, you got the two-pedal poppy. On the crown, uh, this doesn't have a date, which I was a little surprised. No date on this one. Uh, again, I love these indexes. They're definitely raised off the dial. Uh, again, you've got the poppy right there at six, just like you do um, for the backhand side of the chronograph hand on the 4092. And again, of course, the poppy on the crown, like I already told you. I don't know if I actually like this black color. I think they have another color I like a little bit better, but it's a good looking watch. All right. There you go. There's case back. Again, these are serialized. Let me see if this one shows it. There you go. <clears throat> right to the left of the red line again. 000, 000 1000. Nice. Okay. The sticker wants to come off for some reason. So guys, I mean, here you go, man. I mean, it's not really much to tell you about these watches other than I think they're really good looking. They're at great, absolutely great price points. Uh, I love the three-dimensional dial. I like the Mecha Quartz movements. Um, I mean, they're just, I like these kind of like syringe style hands on this uh, Chairman's Mecha Quartz, this three-hand Mecha Quartz. Kind of like the Flieger look to it. It's a good looking watch, man. Again, strap, same thing, you know, leather, Fixed keeper, uh, movable keeper, tang and buckle, has got AV8 on it. Of course, this one's all wrapped up. But uh, they're good-looking watches, man. All right, let me go ahead and give you a loom shot on both of these. And let me go ahead and try these on as well. All right. Let's check out the loom. I couldn't get any sort of loom figures for you. Here's the loom on the chronograph. Wow, pretty good actually. Not too bad. And let's check out the loom on the Flieger style watch here. There you go. Oh, I like that loom. That's really cool. I like those uh, those rectangles at three, six, nine, and twelve. I like those. That's cool looking. And this one says limited edition at the top, by the way. I don't know if you can see that. Instead of saying that at the bottom, it says that at the top. I'm sorry, does that say at the top? What does that say? Oh, I'm sorry, it says Mecha Quartz at the top, but it does say limited edition again at the bottom, just like the chronograph does. There you go. Good looking watch, man. All right, so let me tell you about the pricing and kind of how this is going to work. 
Um, the sign up for these is right now. And the sign up basically meaning, you know, Aviate wants to kind of gauge interest about how many people are going to buy these. Again, they're going to make a thousand of each. So I'm sure they're going to sell each one of them. Uh, but you can go ahead and sign up right now. They'll send you some more information. And then they go on sale, I believe, the 22nd. And let me get your prices for both of them. Actually, let me, I'm sorry. Let me, you know what? I know they're going to fit. Yeah, I know they're going to fit. They're going to be a little bit tight on me, but there you go. I don't want to take off any of the protective covering stuff. All right. And there's this one. I like the strap on the chronograph better. I don't like this. I just don't like the whole black look on this one. I don't like that blackout look. Um, there you go. Yeah, I know that these will fit. They'll be a little tiny bit tight on my 8-inch wrist, but they'll definitely fit. All right. Uh, pricing, the 4092, which again is the chronograph, that's going to go for around $285. And the 4096 is going to go for only 150 bucks, which is really cool. Now, remember, you can use my MAV15 off coupon code to save yourself 15% off. So that drops those prices down even further. And also remember that that code, the MAV15 off code, that's good also over at Spinnaker as well. So any Spinnaker watch you want to get, you can use that same MAV15 off coupon code and save yourself 15%. And of course, I'll make sure to put all the links in the description field for you so you can check those things out. So guys, I mean, that's really been about it for this one. I just wanted to bring in these watches. I want to thank Aviate for sending them to me. Uh, good looking watches. <clears throat> and again, I think Aviate's really stepping up their game. Uh, they're making some really nice quality watches. I can't really call them a micro brand anymore. In fact, I'm never going to refer to Aviate as a micro brand or Spinnaker. They're not micro brands anymore. Uh, their manufacturing techniques have really upped their game in the watch world. So, uh, and they put out some really good products and I think a really decent price. So anyway, as always guys, make sure you like and subscribe, make sure you click that notification bell. Uh, all of us YouTubers definitely appreciate it when you do that. And, uh, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you on the next review. Take care. Bye-bye.